Hi everybody, today I'm finally here to teach how to make this crochet star headband. I know it's been a long time since I posted it on my other socials and a lot of people have asked but I'm finally making this tutorial and I really hope you enjoy. Just to quickly go over the materials, I'll be using two colors of yarn here and I'll be using a 4mm crochet hook as well as my darning needles and my scissors. Okay, before we get started, I wanted to quickly break down the project so we kind of have an idea and a plan as to how we're going to tackle this headband. I've split it up into three main sections, so the first bit is the star bit, and then there's the tapering ends, and then the straps to help you tie the whole headband together. So breaking up the star pattern a bit more, this is basically a combination of one star pattern that is repeated over again to reach the width of your head. The width of one of the stars is roughly about 8.5 centimeters, so I just recommend you for measuring from one ear to the other ear, and for me that's four patterns of the star in total. So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make one section of the star, and you basically just have to multiply this pattern across to make the width of the band. I'll be going through each row for the star, and then at the end of each row, I'll show what it looks like on the whole headband. It makes sense as the video goes along. With this pattern, just remember that every odd number row you do, the pattern should be facing towards you the front way, and every even number row you do, you should be crocheting on the back side. This pattern is using single crochet stitches and also requires you to know how to change color. I'll leave some links down below for these particular stitches if you need help. I also have a written pattern in the description down below, so feel free to download and support me with that. Thank you! Okay, so let's get started with making this headband pattern now. To start off, you're going to want to do 15 chains to make one star. So remember, if you're doing the whole headband, then you have to multiply 15 chains by however many stars you need. So if you're doing 4, it'll be 15 times 4, which means you have to do 60 chains in total. I recommend using some stitch markers just to help you mark along where each star starts and where each star ends, just to make sure you don't overlap with anything. Once you have your chains done, you can finally start with the first row of the pattern. To start it, you're going to want to do one additional chain before turning your work around. So the first row is actually really easy, it's your main color only, and you're just going to do 15 single crochets across. So if you're doing 4 stars in total, that'll be 60 single crochets across. Just make sure you have the math done correctly so that the headband actually fits around your head and also each star will appear correctly on the headband too. So once you have your chains done, it should look like this, and here it is in the full length. To finish off the row, don't forget to chain 1 to make sure you're ready to turn your work for the next row. Now moving on to row 2, this is the first row where you're going to start to include your second color. For this row, you're going to want to do 2 single crochets in your main color, for me it's white, and then you're going to follow that with 1 single crochet in your secondary color, for me that's blue. So for me, my secondary color is the blue because that's the color I want for the star. And then back to your main color again and do 9 single crochets. Once you're done with the 9 single crochets, you're going to want to switch back to your blue or secondary color and do 1 single crochet there and then finish it off by doing 2 single crochets in the white. Once you finish this row, just do one chain and turn your work. So here is it when it's done, and here is it with the full length. So this is the kind of the routine the whole video is going to go in. I'll go in depth in how to do the row, and then when the row is completed, and it in the full length itself. Now starting with row 3, there's going to be more changing colors here. So we're going to start off with two single crochets in the white, followed by two single crochets in the blue, and then seven single crochets in the white again. So there's a few different techniques to change color. For me, I'm just using the floating technique instead of like putting it in every single stitch, but it's completely up to you how you wanna do it. And then now we're gonna do two blue single crochets. And then finally, two single crochets in the white. And when you're done, just do chain one to turn your work. And here it is with row three being completed. Now moving to row 4, this time we're going to start with 3 single crochets in the white. Followed by 2 single crochets in the blue. And for the middle bit, we're going to have 5 single crochets in the white. Crazy. 
and then again two single crochets in the bloom and finally three single crochets in the white and again don't forget to do one chain to turn your work for the next row and here's this row completed And now starting row 5, this row has a lot less changing colors, so it's going to get a lot easier. So to start off, we're going to do 3 single crochets in the white, followed by 9 single crochets in the blue, and finally 3 single crochets in the white again. And again, when you finish everything, don't forget to chain 1 to turn your work around. And here is this row done. You can start seeing where the stars are forming. You can see the two points that we've done. And now we're going to move on to row six. Now starting row six, we're going to want to do four single crochets in the white this time. Followed by seven single crochets in the blue. And then finishing off with four single crochets in the white again and don't forget to chain one to turn your work at the end and here's this with the row being completed remember that every single row should have 15 stitches in total so just make sure you're counting back to make sure it's always even and now starting row seven you're going to want to do five single crochets in the white followed by five single crochets in the blue and now you're going to want to do five single crochets in the white again and when you're done again make sure you chain one to turn your work and here's it done again with the full length Now starting row 8, we're going to want to do 4 single crochets in the white, followed by 7 single crochets in the blue, and now 4 single crochets in the white again. And again, make sure you chain 1 to finish off this row. And here's it all done for this row and we're gonna move on to the next row now so here we are with row 9 we're gonna want to start off with three single crochets in the white and now nine single crochets in the blue And then three single crochets again with the white and again make sure you chain one to finish off this row and here it is in the full length of what the headband should be again and now moving to row 10 row 10 has the longest length for the star itself so we're going to start off by doing one single crochet in the white followed by 13 single crochets in the blue To finish it off one more single crochet in the white again and again don't forget to chain one to finish off this row and here it is in the full length you can really start to see the star forming and we're almost there and now starting row 11 we're going to want to bring the star back into its point again so we're going to do five single crochets in the white and now five single crochets in the blue And lastly, five more single crochets in the white again. And again, chain one to finish off this row.
and here it is with everything in the full length too. And now here we are in row 12. So for row 12, we're going to want to do six single crochets in the white. And now three single crochets in the blue. And finally, six more single crochets in the white again. And to finish this row, all we're going to want to do is do one chain to turn our work. And here's it all done for this row. Starting row 13, for this row we're going to want to do 7 single crochets in the white. One single crochet in the blue. And then seven single crochets again in the white. And again, don't forget to chain one to finish off this row. And here it is in the full length as well. We are finally on our second last row for this pattern. And it's just the exact same thing as row 13. So again, seven single crochets in the white. One single crochet in the blue. Followed by seven single crochets in the white again. And again, don't forget to chain one to finish off this row. And here we are finally at row 15. So with row 15, it's exactly like what we did in the first row. It's just single crochets in the white across the whole headband. So let's do 15 single crochets and then we'll be done with this pattern. And here it is with the final row for the full length of the whole thing. You should have all your stars there and it should just be one rectangular band at this point. And now we're finally moving on to the tapering ends of the crochet headband. So with this rectangle headband that you just made, we're basically going to want to add two triangles on each side. And to do this, we're just basically want to add decreases on each row we do. So for this first row, we're just going to want to do 12 single crochets across the vertical side of this headband. This just gives it a good foundation before we start actually adding decreases. And again, don't forget to chain one to turn your work at the end. So with row two, here's where we're going to start adding the decreases. To start off this row, we're just going to do one single crochet decrease, and then we're going to do eight single crochets, followed by one more single crochet decrease. So the idea is you're going to have a decrease on each side of each row, and then you're going to have single crochets in the middle. And so now we just follow this pattern of adding a decrease on both sides of the rows and having single crochets in the middle until we reach a total of two stitches. With each decrease in each row, you should move down by two stitches. So we started off with 12 stitches and now we should be at 10 and then eight and so on and so on until you reach two. Once we finish the tapering ends, all you want to do is add your straps. So for your straps, it's just two single crochets every single row, and I did about 60 rows in total. You can do as many rows as you need, but just make sure you do a chain one at the end of each row to make sure you can turn your work. And once you've completed the straps on this side, just repeat the whole tapering process on the other side of the band to make sure it's symmetrical. And now you're basically done with your headband. So just to finish it off, make sure you sew in your ends or cut off and tie off any loose ends to make sure the headband doesn't come undone. 
I really hope everybody enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave any comments or any questions you have down below. I always answer. And you can always customize this headband with any color you want and also with any thickness. I made a thicker one for the winter just so it covers my ears. Don't forget to tag me if you make this. I would love to see it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me along on my other socials. Thank you!